In the year 2119, three men and an intrepid crew search the galaxies. This is Starflight, Starflight, Starflight. Starring Captain Dave Michaels. First Science Officer Jack Stein. And Chief Medical Officer Billy Army. Starflight date 216. Uh, who cares? <laughs> Docked off the planet Earth. We've been on shore leave for over two weeks. Our engineer Bill Graff has requested Stein and myself down to the engine room for a surprise. Graff! Graff, are you down here? Over here, Captain. So, this is the latest Bill Graff invention. It is, Captain. As you know, for some time we've been needing a medical assistant to help Dr. Army with the routine checkups of our Flight 1080 crew. Yes, and? Well, I've done it. I don't mean to spoil the anticipation you're trying to create, Engineer Graff, but we really need to get back to the flight deck. We're due back on duty in less than one Earth hour. Stein is correct. So what do we got? Oh, it's a good one, Captain. Let me introduce the first and newest medical assistant to the flight. Uh, let me fire him up. Check this out. Why does it look like a trash can with legs? <laughs> My name is Bill E. Programmed by Bill Graff. Perform a variety of functions for Dr. Army. Pretty cool, huh? Nice. Very nice. Captain, we are needed immediately on the bridge. It seems that Dr. Army may have slipped into some kind of deep, higher, hyper native coma. None of the medical crew are able to revive him. Also, Captain, it appears that B Bill E., the robot, is on fire. Oh, dang it. Uh, let me put him out. Minor glitch, that's all. To Dr. Army's headquarters, immediately. We found Dr. Army unresponsive. Using new technology, we have learned that he is suffering from a Lucalar fear toxin, causing him to be stuck in a dreamlike coma state. By attaching electrodes to Army's forehead, I am going to join him in his dream state and attempt to calm him down and walk him out of it. I'm ready, Stein. Billy? Dr. Army? Dave. Are you here? Dave. Dave. Dave, I'm over here on this raft. Billy, I'm here to help. You're trapped in a dream. Dream, Dave. This is a nightmare. Nightmare, Dave. I have this dream all the time. I'm going to get you out of here. Good luck, David. This is the fun part of the dream. What are those sounds? It's the war, Dave. It's World War II. See that ship over there? Way over there. It's the USS Indianapolis. Okay now, Billy, listen to me. What I need you to do is calm way down and relax. You're suffering from a lucular toxin. It causes fear. Once you're relaxed, it'll let you out of the dream. That's kind of a problem, David. Why is that? Because in about ten minutes, we're going to be eaten by sharks. Just relax, Billy. Relax, he says. Dave, over there is the USS Indianapolis. By two torpedoes. You know what those are, Dave? Warships, Dave. One of those just helped drop the bomb. The Hiroshima bomb. Hiroshima. Hiroshima <laughs> bomb. Well, if that had thought a part out. There are 1,100 men, were, I should say, in the water. Most of them didn't see the first sharks, Dave. Tigers. Thirteen-footers. Dave, this mission is so secret that no distress signal is going to be sent. No one is going to know about it. Right now, the men that were on that ship, they formed into tiny groups. And then those sharks come, I see they'll start pounding and hollering, screaming sometimes. And sometimes, David, the shark... But sometimes he won't go away. And sometimes that shark, David, will look right into your eyes. You know the thing about a shark? He's got 
lifeless eyes, Dave. Black eyes, like a dog's eyes. When he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. Those black eyes roll over white, and then despite the yelling and the hollering, they come in, and they come in to rip you to pieces. Stein, this is the captain. I can't break the spell. Army's in serious trouble. Join us next time for the continuing adventures of Starflight. Only on KSCO. This is Billy Army, and thanks for listening. You can follow me at all the usual social media sites. If you enjoyed the content, uh, skit, or whatever you want to call it, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Hit the button, as they say. You can also consider donating to the channel in the following links below. Have a great one, everybody.